Okay, now let us talk about this interview from LBC, day, December 7, 2021. Now, this interview is by a James O'Brien and he's interviewing Mina Smallman. Now, Mina Smallman is the mother of Biba Henry and Nicole Smallman, the sisters that were found in Wembley um, Park that was stabbed to death, right? No. These sisters were stopped to death by an individual that claims he made a pact with a demon, right? Because he wants to win the Euro million. No, his name is Daniel Yossein. Now, when the team member shared this interview with me and I go look it up, it gave us the smoking gun we were looking for because we had discussed the, the case, right? And when we were discussing the case and we found out that Mina Smallman, the mother, is a religious woman, she's a woman of the cloth, we then put together that her daughters were killed because she was doing some damage to the spiritual world, to the dark world, I should say. We didn't have any proof. No, this is a proof to show you that... We are living in an extremely cruel world and if you go up against the powers of darkness and you start doing spiritual warfare, you start doing a lot of good, then they are going to find a way to come back at you. Now, in the interview, right, Mina Smallman had a few words to say because she mentioned she, as part of her ministry, she was working with people that dabble in the occult, right? Let us pick up some of what she have to say from here. I will know, I will know whether he's been dabbling or not, because one of the ministries I was involved in working with people who dabble in the occult and stuff. So, you know, I've met it up close and personal. Most of the time, it's just people who have watched too many scary movies and have imaginings, right? No, this is where I say many are called, few are chosen, because she thinks she knows, but then she don't know, because the biggest trick the devil has played on us is to let us believe he and his kingdom don't exist right because judging from what she's saying she don't believe that this young man made a deal with the devil no one thing i know about demonic demonic attacks they love knife they don't usually use gun they just love knives the instrument like that cutting instrument blades and stuff like that they love to attack with knives and this young man is a vessel for them, right? And they could not get at Mina Smallman, but they could get at her daughters. And she don't realize that working with people who she claimed doubled, right? There's no such, no such thing as double in their cult. You're either in or you're out. So I realize she don't even know what she's a part of, right? And she then go on to state in her statement, um, there are people who have watched too many scary movies and have imaginings. Many are called, few are chosen, right? That is what she put it down to. But this young man that stabbed her daughters, he wasn't having any imaginings. He wasn't watching any scary movies. He knew exactly what he wanted. He wanted to win the Euro million, right? And a demon was going to help him so that he could get away with it. He wasn't having any imaginings, right? Pay attention and understand the times that we're living in. That people would work in their cult, but they cannot recognize the signs, right? Someone will come to you and tell you, this is what I do, this is what it is, and you still don't believe them, even when it costs lives, right? Let us continue with what she has to say. But when I saw him, I thought, no, 
you're you're just a sad loser you know the same kind of people who you know shooters and you know they're not they are no mark and they want to be somebody that's that's what he was many are called few are chosen and when the team member shared this video with me which is on youtube the date is december 7 2021 it is a very recent interview you can go and check this interview out for yourself and connect the dots right we cannot believe that we discussed this case right and we realized that the mother was involved in spiritual warfare and when we listen to what she's saying we still cannot believe that this woman cannot identify spiritual warfare she cannot identify what is placed in front of her and that is what we are facing today when the truth is presented to us we still cannot deal with it we still have the mindset that we will know we will know because we have worked with it before we have seen it before and when it is presented we still cannot identify it we still don't know right and that is the problem today right the biggest trick the devil has played on us is to believe that he don't exist we need to pray and say glory be to the most high